Hey folks, this is Saiyan Chan. I'm here today in the lovely city of Cali, Colombia. I'm joined by my guest, Andrea. She is 20 years old. She's a university student studying social communications. She goes to the gym many, many times a week <laughs> yeah. trying to stay healthy. She's a cocktail waitress and she's also a model. So thank you so much, Andrea, for coming to my channel today. Thank you for you to the invitation. Okay. for your channel. All right. Um, how do you speak English so well? Okay, no, it's so well. I think that I can uh, like it better. But when I'm a kid, my dad and my mom like uh, um, accepts me for studying English and put me like in Academy of English here in Cali, Colombo Americano, its name. So uh, I learned English without different type of le levels and I up the levels to like uh, consider for B1 level. Mm -hmm. And in the college, uh, like a, re a requirement uh, to graduate with a, with a Cambridge exam. So I, I have to study like listening, writing, speaking and all the skills, English skills for graduated in the college, in the school. But I need to practice more because uh, I lose some words of English. Okay. You don't have other people to practice English with here in Cali? Oh, uh, yes, my friends, but it's not common because the, the people here in Cali like uh, practice or talk in the, in the in the in the language for the Spanish so in, in all the places on some places like talk Spanish or no more you don't talk English for for example hello or eh, hola eh, you can you speak English with me no this is like a mm. different or not it's possible uh, in the bars or with uh, you are communicating with other person but here in Cali they like a uh, I think for it better because the people don't like don't educate in the English and I think that it's so important because here in the in this time it's so important. So you've been a cocktail waitress for two years now. Yeah. Do many tourists come to your bar, extranjeros? Uh some sometimes. Sometimes not as like a, a thing that are um that are many times, but uh, I I attended like uh, people of United States and they are tender but obviously they are like wait to connect with a girl for example in my and in, in the bar in the ice cocktail bar that I worked only work women and girls so uh, some of, of the men go to there for know a girl or in or interacted with with us so yes not at many times but sometimes go uh, people of United States. Got it. So, do you practice your English there with them? Um, yes, but the the men of United States like to uh, speak in Spanish. Huh? <laughs> they they are like, hola, this is my. Uh, how do you say uh, this word in Spanish? Or can I say that word? And I I think that they are. Uh, try to practice your Spanish with with the girls because in this time they like to uh, surprise the girl. So I think that this is the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do your your coworkers at the bar do they speak English too? Yes, uh, some of them. Uh, we are like seven, and we are like a, a schedule, and we turn in different days. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of the my my co-workers are my friends of university i i came there the day for the work so they are also uh, uh, speak english uh, like uh, we are seven and only two don't speak english nice yeah i think that the woman especially the girl he, uh, actually, like the students that are in the university, know English because it's a more important factor of in whatever place and here actually for go to the United States or to keep or like to connect with a work. Living here in Cali, Colombia, how has knowing English helped you? Okay, I think that here in Cali not helped me to, to know English, but I, for example, know English uh, helped me for uh, staying this interview with you. 
<laughs> this is important because if I, if I know no English, I can be here. But uh, I think that no here, not it's important for here. It's important to connect connect myself with an, in, in another country, with another work in, in Europe, in the United States to communicate with other people. But here, here with the Spanish is good. Is it a long term goal for you to leave Colombia? Yes, but in this moment not because I am in, in eighth semester. So I, I am already to go to graduate of my university. And so for me, it's, it's so important to graduate. But with the past of the years and I, I am like, um, keep my, my experiences. I think that it's important to leave the country and leave another culture and no one other person in the United States ever because I, I, I don't uh, leave the country one time, only one time. I was in Chile, but I, I, I like to, in the future, uh, I would like to know another country, another people, another culture, because I love travel that I said uh, before minutes. If a person spoke no Spanish or very little Spanish, how difficult would life be for them here in Cali? <laughs> It's interesting because I think that it's so difficult because the people of Cali don't know English. So if you don't, if you don't know a Spanish that are difficult because no way Spanish is more difficult than know English, I think, and that I listen in like statistics, um, it's it's one more difficult to communicate with a girl if you want or a man or and so if you don't know Spanish, how the girl can like connect with you. Uh, because here in the Cali, the women are more are Cali, are polite. If you can like keep a conversation with with her, so if you if you can't, you don't can't a uh, connection with the girl. How many times have you been to Medellin? Okay, uh, the last year I've been in Medellin like four times. I like them, the the place, and the people. The people are Cali also and the places are more technologic. I think that it's um, a more evolution city that, than Cali. Cali are a city, a good city, a, a, a friendly city, but Medellin also a friendly city, but it's also like a, a city that you can more, more things, do more things than here and know more people. And I think there are more people in two different countries in Medellin. Here in Cali, not more, but are more um, more people to other countries, other cities. You can know other cultures and um, a lot of like an, another uh, type of thinking if you go to Medellin. Do you think that a person that spoke very little Spanish would have an easier time in Medellin? I think that in other in a lot of time in a lot of uh, places of Colombia, because for example, it, it's Medellin because Medellin is a city, but if you go to another like uh, a small city that it into the Medellin, it's not easy, easier. I think that it's the same difficult to Cali, because uh, the people not are um, not are in the in the way to communicate in English and not have like the, the behavior or to connect or spend the time study a language, spend time in other things. So it's important to the people that come to Colombia uh, is talk a little bit or a little bit, um, more than a little bit on Spanish, like to connect with a, with a conversation with whatever person for do whatever thing that they want to do. When you were talking about Cali, you mentioned that Cali is a friendly city. Does that mean it's more friendly than Medellin? Okay, I think that the people are different. The people of, of Cali are friendly, but the people of Medellin named Paisas. You know that? Like the people of Medellin named, all the people of Medellin named Paisas. So the Paisas are more friendly because they are more relaxed. They are more like to a uh, polite of, of with other people. The people here in Cali are friendly too, but I think that in Medellin, like the, the culture is more relaxed than than Cali. Okay, what about what about the Bogota people? Oh, the Bogota people are so difficult. 
because the, the Bogota is the capital here of Colombia and the Bogota people are more cold, it's too cold. It's, it's, it's like more enfocating in, her, in, their, in their things. So if you want to communicate with them, are so difficult because they are like have a routine and all they are in their routine. So you are to walking on the street, are walking on the on the on the go to their house, and you um, show with a person, and this person can like uh, uh, see you bad because the person don't know you and. The Bogota people don't have behavior to, uh, to be gently with the people, with the other people. They are only in their routine and no more. But you're from Bogota. Yeah, but, but my dad and my mom are from here, are from Cali and are from another, like a small city on Bogota, the name is Tolima. So the people of here cities, our small city, are more polite and are more gently. For this reason, I, I gently like my dad and my family and my mom. You have a lot of friends your age that are young, pretty models. Yeah. Bar girls, right? <laughs> yeah. And you, the first thing you mentioned is uh, conversation and connection. So how much does money matter? Okay. Okay, uh, the money, I think that for me, the money, the money not it's so important for me. But I, here and actually are a reality that it, the money is important for the girls. Because the money can, uh, can the girl, if you have money, the girl can see, see can, can you see in a more special way. Why? I don't know. For me, not, not is, this is the way. But for other girls and women in Cali, yes. Because with money, you can go to a restaurant, you can go to the cinema, you can go to a different, uh, different places here in Cali to enjoy a date. So it's important because if you don't have money, but you don't have like have a, a good date or a good place to date because um, some places of Cali are expensive and the eat are, are the food are expensive. So if you don't have money, you can't enjoy in a, in a good way in a place. For me, that doesn't matter because I like to the, the men that are special on are like a, a kind man. But in morning for some women actually are so important. So because of that, do you know many people in the social circle that are like uh, like sugar babies, for example? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh can, my can, god! Can you please explain uh, a little more about okay. how that works? Uh, the sugar baby are a girl that uh, stay with a me with a older men than than her and spend time with 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 their with their no with him because uh, it's like in some cases the sugar death is the sugar that is uh, is want to spend time with a girl because they have like they don't can spend time with another woman so enjoy spend time with a with a with a little girl so this is the thing like uh, the sugar that pay a money to a, with a girl like me for spend time in different different places and in different aspects like a sex or like only sex or can only uh, uh, go to a place and eat something it, it could be a different types of sugar dead or only a sugar baby why do you think the these type of men do this when there are so many women in Cali okay I think in my personal thinking, I think that it's for like to spend time because they'd have to spend time with another woman for the for the age, for example, and they and and sadly they need to pay for that. So mm. they need to pay for spend time for for um, to stay with a woman, and this is sadly yes, but actually it's so common and the girls. Uh, have this idea and have this way in a better way to keep or consider money to have money do the women like this or is it do they enjoy it or is it just like 
eh, this is a job. I think that this is the job. And sometimes, I obviously I can't talk in general because each woman have uh, have a selection or think different like me. But I think that is for some is like a job only job i focus that is my job because i need to have money but another woman for the time can enjoy this and in, in some cases the women like keep in love with the sugar daddy and they marry it for example i have some cases of that but it depends on the case obviously and it's depend of the woman and the thinking of the woman or the th the, the the thing that the woman have do you think that this type of a lifestyle is like damaging to the woman long term yeah for Why? me yes long term because uh you don't have a real connection for example if the woman uh, is for job the woman that uh, want do they think do these things for job is a damage because they don't have a real connection with a person so you are spend your time with another person for money but really you are you don't you don't want to win things you know lose things you you are a uh, win money but you are lost your time because you don't are with a person with you like it so you you enjoy yes travels or or go to the uh, the most expensive restaurant in the city but you don't are with the people that you love how much attention do you receive on instagram for example okay it's it's important for example uh the tension of the instagram it's it's it, it's it's a big attention a lot a lot of attention because i am a pretty girl but i don't i consider a pretty girl that in i don't know <laughs> but uh the my friends or the people that uh, follow me uh, see the old things that I do. For example, I I am then go go to the gym and I take a photo or update a video, explain the exercise or or show the people how can they like uh, emotive uh, words to go to the gym. So I think that these type of things keep the attention of the people that follow me. So I have a a, a a lot of attention. I think but not more than other girls that have a lot of followers. I have like 2,000 followers and these 2,000 have friends, have people that I know or some people that, that I know one time, but they like keep in the attention for me. Okay. Do you receive a lot of attention from like foreign men asking you to come see them or, or wanting to meet up with you? Yeah. No, notice a lot of men, but some men like a little bit. Uh, one time I have a like experience to a uh, foreign man uh, write me uh, uh, in Instagram and say me hello. I am that man and I want to go with you in a date. Uh, how can how can you how can I pay for you? For example, this is this is like the the thinking that a lot of foreign men have. And this is so bad because uh, no, not not all the time the girls uh, have to receive money for that date. I, in my case, I don't uh, go to a date with a foreign man that I don't know because uh, here actually are a lot of cases that the in these cases the things happened bad. Have any men in other countries offer? to buy you a plane ticket to go see them? Uh, one time a man like read me and said me like if you want I pay your ticket for going to a, going to Spain and spend time with me like in vacations for example and it's common because but I, I don't go <laughs> and I don't accept this invitation because it can damage for me i don't know i don't know the man i don't know what the intention could be a good intentions obviously but that also could be a bad intentions so i don't know can can be happen so i i prefer to uh keeping myself with these things Got it. so for men looking to meet a colombian woman like you and that thinks like you 
Do you have any advice for them? Okay, and a more important advice that is don't uh, start a conversation or don't start the connection with the money because it could turn the conversation at the, the moment and in a bad moment because the woman can predestinate for other things or the, man, the woman can think that you only want to uh, have sex with her. And also you can, you can, you want to uh, stay with her in, an, in, another, in another questions or love questions in a date, in a restaurant, you don't know. So the, the most important thing is, is be you, by, but be you in a good way to uh, show to the girl that you, you want to know, know her and you want to know her in different aspects that other men are common to, to show. How helpful do you think is being able to dance? <laughs> it's so important. Guys, learn to dance, please. Because here in Colombia, the man that don't dance, it's common that, that, that not, not are accepted for the girl. Because here in the discos, are in the in the places that the people go to dance, uh, dance reggaeton, dance bachata, dance merengue, that dance salsa here in Cali, dance salsa. So if you if you don't know dance, you can see that your girl dance with other men. If you don't want you don't want to see that. So it's important that you learn uh, dance. Obviously, no, you don't dance like a like a special man because it's it's cost time but you it's important that you know some some steps like to con to keep the attention of the woman what about like music and concerts okay here in cali are so common that our concerts are a lot of type of music for example reggaeton here in cali are so common that the the their reggaeton concerts are realized so i go to all the concerts of reggaeton because i love reggaeton but also our our concerts of um musical this the special music or the 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 music that here in cali are so common to the guys and in the discos and in the bars what mistakes do men make when they try to get your attention or express interest in you, either online or in person? The mistake that the men can uh, commit it, but commit it is like a be bad person or be like have a, a bad per personality or, or, or for example, have like behaviors to, um, to other girls, for example, for a, if they express interesting with me and also they express interest with a, lo a lot of girls it's a, a big mistake because if you want to be all, with all girls so be with all the girls with me no but all, with all the girls yes do you feel that there is a lot of competition for women to be beautiful here in colombia yes the the women of Colombia are so beautiful, so I think that all the women of Colombia have a thing. All the women of Colombia are like a beautiful. So the competition the competition is is big because all the girls have something that can offer with a man or can offer with a life. So all all the girls and the women are beautiful. So the competition the competition is big because. All the girls have a, a special thing that are special. What do you think about surgeries? Surgeries? Cirurgias. Oh, okay. What what thing? For me, no, because I think that I go to the gym and I can like do my body with I want because the gym and the discipline for me with the food and this and these things uh, for uh, for me in this in the way that I want. But I don't criticize the, the surgeries for other girls. If the girl want to, want to do a surgery for, uh, for feel better or feel good or feel beauty, feel more special, it's good. In the USA, we have something called the fat acceptance movement. Did you hear about anything like that in Cali? Actually, these movements are 
exponential here in Cali, in Colombia also, because the culture in change. So actually, like the 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 way that the people say the 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 other people and the other women are changed with the time. So the culture change. As some some years ago, the standards of the women are like 90, 60, 90, like uh, the the figure of the like apple, for example, that I like compare. But actually, uh, the campaigns of the marks or the different um, different companies are like loved like you are in all the standard on the side that you have. If you are you are a um, tender, or you are whatever side that you have, love you. In Bogota, I've seen more women with like a lot of tattoos crazy colored hair okay uh, you know you know the type i'm talking about yeah okay do you uh, is that common in cali i think that it's normal because uh, the um, the generation the actually generation thinks that this is normal so each each moment it could be more normal than and in another age and another time when i say the word feminism what what comes to your mind? I think that it's so important. But I didn't feminism because I have an open mind and the, the, the girls and the women that are feminism have a, a strict thinking about some things. I am and I don't have this strict thinking. But I respect this movement and I appointment with different types of different comments that she do or the activities that they do and I appointment. I don't participate in it, but I appointment and I and I respect in all the aspects. How common do you think these extreme feminists are in Cali Colombia? In Cali Colombia are are a uh, a big movement of feminism because in the university I see that. I see a big movement and when are they for example the the three M that are the like the the month of the woman, for example, or the uh, are the the feminism are strict because they want to be a change and they want to keep the attention of the people about all the topics that the woman need to trade and the woman need to talk. So the woman needs to to keep the attention of all the people. So I, I think that in this moment. The, these things can be more extreme, but in other things, no. What are they asking for? For example, for uh, like behaviors of the men. For example, here in Cali, uh, not all the men, but a uh, different type of men in the streets are unpolite, unkind with the women, are like respectful and say bad words to the girls, to the women. So. I think that the, the, the feminism asking for security, asking for the woman is walking to the street and keep, and keep security because in this moment the women not are security in the streets because the men can be hurt them. So I think they're asking for, for security, for keep, keep peace, keep um, in respect, keep tolerance and these things for all the women. Well, uh, Andrea, this brings us to a close. Thank you for sharing with us some of these interesting <laughs> uh, aspects of, of Cali, which most people <laughs> wouldn't know about. So I think. I think they, uh, I learned a lot, and I'm sure my audience will too. I, I want to do that. I, I wait that you learn a lot of things for Cali, and I extend my invitation to come to Cali and know a lot of things that the city of Cali have, like the people, and know how can be with you and don't have like a scare for no, uh, the, the Caleños and the Caleñas, because we are uh, beauty people that wait you from come here. Okay. All right, folks, that, that wraps it up. If any of you folks need some help with planning your life or with organizing a trip to Colombia and maybe some help with meeting <laughs> Colombian women <laughs> the correct way, please email Sayin Chan at protonmail.com and book a session with Sayin Chan Life Coaching and Consulting. 
everyone else, if you would like to support my work as I support the locals down here in Colombia, please consider doing so on Subscribestar, Cash App, or PayPal. Links in the description below. Everyone else, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is Saiyan Chan signing off, reminding us all to always cogitate and analyze. Bye-bye.